Today, I'm going to put this weird thing on my head and communicate with GPT-4 using nothing but my thoughts. Growing up, my dad would always tell me, damn it, son, you need to use your brain more. But I never fully understood what he meant, until now. The human brain is the most complex machine in nature, and how it really works is still a mystery. What we do know is that it's always emitting measurable electrical impulses called brain waves. Scientists have been measuring these waves for decades using electroencephalograms, or EEGs, that connect tons of electrodes to your dome. You've likely seen them in movies like Clockwork Orange, but I was able to get my hands on this futuristic device called the Crown, a compact and stylish electroencephalogram that you could totally wear on a Tinder date without looking weird. It's the same basic idea as Elon's Neuralink, except you won't need to drill a hole into your skull. And best of all, it's got a JavaScript SDK that we can use to hack into our own brainwaves. Naturally, my first thought was to connect my brain to GPT-4, to give myself superhuman intelligence, and that's what I did, which makes me the smartest man in the world. You're about to get a glimpse into the future, a transhuman cyborg future, where every human, well every rich human anyway, will have all the knowledge in the world not just at their fingertips, but at their brain tips. The pores will have these as well, but they'll be used by the CIA to make you dumber. Like the moment you get thirsty, you'll be served an advertisement for overpriced sugar water that will slowly kill you. The crown device has a price tag of about $1,000. It sits on the back of your head and has a bunch of tiny electrodes that measure your brain waves. It hooks up to a mobile app via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, then streams your brain's data into the ether. The app also provides helpful utilities like how to improve focus, but I don't care about that. I want access to the raw data, which we can easily get in JSON format via its JavaScript SDK. But first, you need to know a little bit more about brain waves. When you're asleep, your brain emits low-frequency delta waves around 2 hertz. These waves increase their frequency when you're awake and relaxed, as they become alpha waves around 10 hertz. And then finally, when you become highly focused, like when solving a coding problem or playing chess, they increase to 35 hertz. And these are gamma waves, and that's what we care most about measuring, because they're useful for actually controlling things. Brainwave patterns are highly dynamic, and can rapidly change depending on a person's cognitive state, mental processes, and external stimuli. However, Neurosity, the company that makes the crown, provides a dashboard where you can train algorithms to recognize your own custom thought patterns. Like currently, I'm training it to understand when I'm thinking about biting into a lemon. I just imagine biting into a sour-ass lemon, and then relax when it tells me to. After doing this about 30 times, it will learn how to recognize that thought pattern. So currently, I am not thinking about biting into a lemon. And the chart's not moving. But now, as I start thinking about biting into a lemon, the chart goes wild. That's pretty crazy, and it's accurate to the point of being somewhat frightening. It is somewhat time-consuming, but you can train all kinds of different patterns. Like I also did right-hand pinch and tongue, based on my wife's recommendations. Now that it knows how to understand my brain waves, let's write some code that can do something useful, like communicate with GPT-4. Here I have a basic Node.js project created with npm init. From there, I can install the Neurosity SDK. Then in the code, I'll go ahead and import it, and the first step is to initialize it with your device ID. The device ID can be found in the mobile app. Next, we log in with our email and password, because a crown can have multiple users. And now, I can start reading my brain with JavaScript, by simply calling Neurosity Brainwaves Raw, then subscribe to a stream of that data. Well, technically it's an observable, because it uses RxJS under the hood. If we console log it, it spits out an overwhelming feed of data. It has a sampling rate of 256 hertz, which means we'll get 256 samples per second. They're batched into 16 samples that emit approximately every 62.5 milliseconds. In addition, the brain waves are broken down into eight different channels, so you get these huge objects with tons of numbers that look like this. If you went to brain college, you might be able to take this data and analyze it yourself, but luckily, Neurosity provides a better way. It provides observables for specific states, like calm and focus. That means we can subscribe to those mental states and then run code as a side effect. But the coolest thing is that we can also recognize those thought patterns that we trained earlier. Like if we want to listen to left-hand pinch, we can call Neurosity Kinesis, followed by the name of the event. And it's this feature that allows me to turn myself into a cyborg. What I'm able to do now is install the OpenAI SDK, where I can authenticate and access GPT-4. The API is dead simple to use. All we need to do is call Create Chat Completion, specify the model as GPT-4, and then send it an array of messages. The result is no different than what you would get from ChatGPT in the browser. Once I have that message, I can do whatever I want with it. Like what I can do next is use a text-to-voice model to convert the text into voice as an audio file. This is your president speaking. Subscribe to Fireship on YouTube before I drone strike your ass. And then transmit it directly to a Bluetooth earpiece. The implications of this are huge, because now when I show up late to my daily stand-up meeting, all I have to do is think about right-hand pinch to ask ChatGPT to come up with an excuse for why I was late for work. Or if I'm taking a test, like the bar exam, and there's a question I don't know the answer to, all I have to do is think about biting a lemon, which will transmit a signal to my camera-enabled glasses, which will then upload that image 
image to GPT-4 and provide an answer that's guaranteed to get me in the top 80%. Or maybe I could become a super soldier, then stick out my tongue to blow up a village of innocent civilians. The possibilities are endless when you start thinking like a JavaScript programmed cyborg. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.